Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to revisit what I call Fatwood City. Um, you know, when it starts warming up, we have that fatwood fever to come to go out and start hunting on some fatwood again. We want to get out in the woods. Uh, so anyway, I just want to take you with me. I'm waiting for some vehicles to pass by. And uh, we'll get out in the woods together and find some fatwood. So anyway, there's there's lots of pine trees around here. I'd say the majority of trees around here are pine trees. There's some pecan trees over here. So anyway, we gonna go and explore and just look around. You know, when I was growing up, my dad, uh, he loved nature and he used to live in Alaska. So he, he grew up at a, and taught us a lot about nature. Anyway, I want to show you this one pine tree as we're going toward what I call Fatwood City. This is a huge tree right here. Huge pine tree. This right here limb right here. I don't know. I hope you can see it right. I hope my camera is angled properly. It, it would make a very good knot. Uh, and there's some more knots hanging off of it. Very beautiful. Okay, here's a standing piece of fat wood. It's pretty heavy, pretty solid. Here's something on the ground right here. This is very heavy and it's stuck in the ground. You see the moss growing on it. You see all that moss. This is a very heavy piece of fatwood right here. Very heavy. So fatwood is very heavy stuff. Um, let's see. So you can find fatwood all over this forest area. This right here area is loaded with it. I can look around and see it everywhere. There's another, I guarantee you can find some in this. It's rotten. That right there. Um, so everywhere you look around where there's pine trees, you're definitely gonna find it. And the bark on here, you can tell it's pine bark. The pine bark right there so this is a this is a very solid stump or not stump but trunk of a pine tree it's it's a very solid dead fatwood tree right there we hadn't even gotten a fatwood city yet there's stumps out here of fatwood there's some more pine knots i bet i left at one point, put these over here together. I like the pine knots because they're the best ones to turn and make the swirls. There's a big old stump right there they cut down. Um, let's see. I put my backpack on. I didn't even take my knife or anything out. Here's my sog. Sog is good for just cutting into it. Let you see that it's fat wood. Let's get a... Mmm, it's fat wood. There's no doubt about it. You see some of the red. I didn't want to cut too much into it. But yeah. Alright, that's over here. Alright. Okay, we're going to walk through here. 
to get it fat wood, what I call fat wood city. There's another stump right there. It's a beautiful area. I wish this was in my backyard. Um, this is like a gold mine. I love the woods. You know, it's very nostalgic. It's, it's just stress releasing to just get out away from everything and the fast pace of life and just get out and away from everything. Uh, relaxing, calming. It's good for stress. So anyway, let's get over here. Okay. We are in the area of Fatwood City. There's a Fatwood right there. There's Fatwood everywhere over here, for sure. Okay, here's a nice, big, huge piece of standing Fatwood. This is solid. You see how solid that is? Look at that. That is some solid stuff. And it smells so good. There's another st stump right there. If I could cut that down, take it with me, I would. That thing is probably, let's see, I'm probably about 18 feet high, if not 20. Solid fat wood. That right there. You see how dark it is? Man, you can make some nice stuff with that. That knot. That is some excellent stuff. And it's solid. It's heavy. It's not no light piece of wood. Alright, we got another one over here. Get rid of these branches. This one is... Oh my goodness. This is huge. This is probably almost 30 feet high. You cut into it everywhere you cut, excuse me. Everywhere you cut. Solid fat wood. Look at that. Look at the colors. Man. And it smells so good. 30 feet high. Now it's just down from the other one right there. Okay. I got to get my bearing straight where the other ones are. I think they're right over here somewhere. Okay. So anyway, you got fat wood laying on the ground over here also. You see the dark? Dark red and the amber colors and yellows and everything. That's that's all fat wood right there. Fat wood stump. Whoop! But bags fall, falling down. This stuff is hard to get up too. I mean, this I've seen people cut some stumps and get some stumps up. But here in the south, these things are stuck in there. They are hard to get digging, to dig them out. You're gonna be spending some time with it. There's some fat wood here, laying down. You see it? See all that amber color and yellow? Okay, we're gonna come across some more standing fat wood here. Because this is Fatwood City. Here's another one. Wow. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at this. Look at that. You see what I see? This is solid fat wood. This is not rotten at all. This is solid. I don't know what happened. Look at that red. Look at those colors. Is that beautiful or what? 
Okay. And we come across another one over here. So I tell you what, any fatwood lover would love to come here and collect some fatwood, I tell you. See that? Standing fatwood. Probably about 15 feet high. Solid as all get out. You can't knock that over. You have to cut it with a chainsaw. And let's see, there's some more. Anyway, I wanted to revisit this area and let you see how rich it is with that wood. And I'm sure I haven't even visited but a thimble of this, this forest. And I guarantee you, this is loaded with it all over the place. This is just one little tiny area. There's fat wood right there laying down on the ground. Look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? That's probably fat wood there. Anyway, I want to let you see what I'm seeing since I finally got a GoPro. Well, I had a GoPro. I just didn't use it. My son was using it. And uh, anyway, I finally decided, you know what, I'm going, I'm going to find where it is, where he put it, and I'm going to learn how to use the thing and then take it with me. Because a, a, tel a cell phone does no justice. So anyway, I mean, it's everywhere. Anyway, I don't know if we've seen this one also. Let's see. She's very high. probably 25 or 30 feet high. Man. It smells good. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I don't know what happened. A storm blew it over. No telling how many years this has been here. But everywhere you cut it, it's just solid fat wood everywhere. The whole thing. I tell you what, if you would burn that in a fire, it would be a major bonfire. Probably have to call the police department, fire department. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to revisit and let y'all see. How much fat wood we have here in the south? South Alabama is a heart of fat wood. It's just rich with it. All right, I'm going to go and visit an area where a tree it looked like got hit was hit by lightning and uh, it blew out the limbs apparently off the tree when it got struck and there's a bunch of pine knots laying on the ground I collected a couple at the time but they were not filled with the uh, fatwood but I just want you to see the tree. I just want to see you, this, you to see this tree. I mean, this is interesting. Look at the way it just branches out. It looks like you can just about sit on it. That is an amazing tree. No telling how old it is. It looks like it might be dead. I don't know what kind of tree it is. It may be oak. Okay, this area over here I found some really good fat wood. It may be because it's a wet area and it preserves the fat wood. I don't know why it does. Look at that. 
do you see what I see? You talking about a heavy, man, that thing is stuck in the ground. That is a heavy piece. That is all fat with right there. Man, that's heavy. Same thing with this. These are some heavy chunks. There's something about water, I reckon, that preserves it some. Anyway, I just want to climb up in here a little bit before we get to that tree. What you see, and my thoughts about what I think is going on that preserves the fat wood. I mean, I'm learning just like everybody else about stuff. And uh, anyway, you can find it all over the floor. It's a lot easier to deal with. There's a piece of fat wood right there. It's pretty rotted. There's one that's dead standing up. So let's see if we can get back over here where we were. I went up the wrong trail for a moment there. And I had to get my bearings straight at where that tree is. It's down over in here somewhere. Let's get back over here in the woods. Here's well, that one's pretty rotten gone, but anyway, it's it's hard to walk around here without having to stop. You see fat wood everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna show you this big old tree. I discovered this probably a year and a half ago. I was exploring on down the trail down there and I thought, what's this over here? We're gonna go look at it. So I looked at it, I'm like, oh wow, that's amazing. Amazing tree, let me get through these vines and branches and things. Here's a pine knot. Here's a big old pine knot. I'm gonna take that with me too. You see that tree? Well, there's a hole, probably a foxhole. You look at all these pine knots laying on the ground. You look at that tree. That tree must have got hit by lightning. Look at all them pine knots. You talk about amazing find. That's a gold mine right there. You can get a bunch of fat wood out of that. See how it's rotting on the outside, but the fat wood is collecting in the center. Look at that. Look at all the plates, the plates of the uh, pine tree. You can tell this is a pine tree. This does not look like the kind of pine trees I have. It does not look like loblolly. This is all rotten right here. But this in the center. I can't get to it and I sure don't want to do anything to it. It didn't fall on me or something weird. You have to get on down in there to get to it, but anyway, it's the pine knots. Look at that baby. That wood. Some of these are kind of rotten out because I think when it got blown to smithereens, you know, the fat wood was not able to collect in the knots. So it blew out the branches. But anyway, that's that's a good solid piece right here. That's a good solid piece of fat wood. And that's not so good because it's not that heavy. You can tell by picking it up. All right, I'm trying to pull this out so I can get to these knots here. All right, Vine. That's what I think of you. Fat wood. Here's a good solid piece. That's a good heavy duty solid piece. Wow. See, it's been underneath everything. So it's very heavy. But anyway, I just wanted you to see some of these areas around here and how rich it is with fat wood. 
Look at that. It wasn't even like this when I saw it last a bit, year and a half ago, so it's rotted since then. So, as you can see, you can call this Fatwood Forest and not Fatwood City because it is everywhere. There's a piece over here. There's a piece over here. There's a piece way over there and way over here and way down after that. So it, it's everywhere. There's, there's just fat wood everywhere around here. There's a stump, there's a stump over there. Just amazing place. This is an old forest apparently. I tried to get a stump up one time, I'll tell you what. I bet it took me a good hour to just get a, a little area out. So if you don't have some kind of chainsaw or something, you're gonna be working. It's some hard stuff to extract out of the ground. I was digging a hole around it and everything. I, I tell you what, that's major work. I don't think it's worth it. When you discover that you can pick it up off the floor of the forest, it's not worth it. Not, not to me. Unless you want to do it for the thrill of it, that's fine. It does have some, some uh, really good resin in it though. So if there's anybody out there and they're having a hard time wondering what fatwood is or where where you can find it, like I was, you know, when I first started, I'm like, well, how, how do you find it? So I was going the hard way about things, like I've said before, but once you realize it's on the ground near pine trees, it usually has that green moss growing on it. Usually, if it's not real old, it has the uh, pine plates on it. So, uh, anyway, we're going to come back around here. This is a beautiful area. Very beautiful and pleasant to walk around in. Uh, very stress releasing. I enjoy it. Get away from all the electronics. I just get so tired of electronics and stuff and yeah they're wonderful they really are in their own right but you know when i was growing up we didn't have cell phones we didn't have microwaves and you know it's 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 a convenience it's it's wonderful to have i'm not putting it down but it's nice to just get away from things and get back to the simplicity of life And I think a lot of people, honestly, I think they've done studies on it too. I think a lot of people go through depression because of all the electronics and, you know, Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. I enjoy making videos and stuff. Uh, I don't want to be in the video, but I enjoy it. Uh, but, you know... You have to do everything in low moderation. You can't just overdo it because you overdo yourself and you lose yourself. You, you know, you don't want to lose yourself in, in other people's lives that you don't even really know. You want to really invest your life in the people you know, people who are close to you and a few, few friends and it's wonderful. All right, I'm trying to find something here. Trying to, trying to find a big old log that is pork belly fatwood. But you talking about a heavy duty fatwood piece? That's probably about 12 feet long. And that thing I cannot pick up. Let me cut the vine off of there. Go away. Look at that. Pure fat wood. All of it. Very nice. Man, if I could get all that, 
I got some hand trucks. That's how I got some of the other pieces I had to cut on them for a while. Get some work, let me tell you. It was a beautiful piece of wood.